can run, run, okay? Not if you can physically run, as in you're just capable of making your two feet, make movements like that, but you're just running randomly in random directions and still getting shot. That's not what that means. If you can run somewhere purposely that gains you cover, uh, safety, or completely gets you out of that, then do it. Make sense? So even though we're going to talk about jumping on bad guys with assault rifles and essentially ending them, that does not mean that if you're standing right next to an exit door, that you should be like, ah, oh, fuck it, right? And run, you know, 50 yards across the room to spear tackle a guy over right Okay? We are hoping that more people will adopt this theory, and that way the people that are closest to them will be the ones that initiate attack. But you do not have to be a hero, you understand that? There's a moral decision that you guys have to make when you leave here. We're just going to supply you with a bunch of tools, right? Um, and you have to make a decision to do that stuff later. By no means am I saying to go way out of your way unless there's an actual legitimate reason, which we're going to talk about as far as family being there and any other psychological issues that keep you there. Does that make sense? So if you can run, run. End of story. Okay, this is, we're going to do all fighting tonight. But that does not mean we don't run. Right? We don't evade. Um, so evade, run. Okay? Barricade. I hate when people say hide. Hiding is not like the right mentality in any way, shape, or form. When we say like hide, what you should be thinking, and I had this conversation with school teacher earlier, is barricade. Not I'm behind a door. I'm talking I'm behind a door that I stack desks and four fucking tables and everything in the world in front of them. I gave her this really, really basic analogy. If you thought that somebody could get on a motorcycle and ram the motorcycle and it still go through the door, then you're not barricaded enough as far as I'm concerned. Does that make sense? It's not go behind the door and lock it. Okay? We say barricades, you need to know that the place you're going to be in is at least to the best of your knowledge relatively safe and inaccessible. Where does, uh, who can think of, especially what happened in Paris, where it really starts to change this game plan, right? Because normally we talk about this <coughs> school shootings, but now we're talking more things where you get outside of terrorism. Where could this go really, really bad? Where normally if it was just a guy running around the hallway with a rifle, barricade is not a big deal. But what's the new thing that, whether you like it or not, is coming this way and has been in other places all the damn time? Bomb, right? And I don't, I don't care how you feel about this stuff and what kind of la-la land you feel like you're in. It's as plausible, right? So maybe barricading and just putting into a door and hoping nobody can get in isn't the best option anymore. Is it an option? Sure. Temporary solution? Sure. But you have to keep all the different variables in mind when it gets into it. Does that make sense? When we say barricade, we're talking fucking barricade, right? Um, arm. This doesn't have to be a gun or a knife, okay? I can fuck people up pretty good with a baseball bat, with a crowbar, with a fire extinguisher, <clears throat> maybe a stapler. I don't care. Anything you get your hands on that makes you more lethal or more dangerous than you were a half a second ago. So arm. It's always a good option, right? And then last but certainly not least is fight. Now, this is where we're a little bit different. Um, and I'm not saying that nobody does this, but we make it a really, really big point to talk about it, is this comes in no specific order, okay? It's not, I start running until I can barricade, I don't arm my safe until I've barricaded, and I don't fight until I'm armed. That's not how this works. If I can run, I run, okay? If I can't find a place to hide, but as I'm running, I can find something to arm myself with, then fucking arm yourself. Maybe after you armed yourself, you found a place to barricade. Maybe after you barricaded, the guy got through your door or came in the back way and you had to fight. Maybe after you fought, you didn't kill the guy, you went right back to your area. There's no rhyme or reason to this system. It's not a do this four step procedure. It is whatever makes the most sense in that moment in time is the thing that I do. Does that make sense? So if I can reasonably run somewhere and get away to safety and avoid it, I reasonably run somewhere and get away from safety and avoid it. If I find myself in a place where I can't necessarily exit right away, Maybe it's a better plan to barricade myself into that spot and not let anybody else in. Maybe. Okay? If I can find something to arm myself, I find something to arm myself, no matter what that is, to my ability. And then the last time is fight. It can happen in any order, it can change at any given time, and you have to have that in your head. This is your non-stop plan. Okay? Run, barricade, arm, fight, run, barricade, arm, fight, run, barricade, arm, fight, whatever place that I can find myself in. Does that make sense? It's going to change depending on where the bad guy is. It's going to change depending on how the bad guy is equipped. It's going to change depending on who you're with. Okay? It's super easy for me to say that if I'm near an exit, I can run away. But for instance, uh, Kim, Kim, my wife, and I were in a movie last night. And if I got up to you know, go take a piss in the middle of the movie, and I came back and heard gunfire, I sure as hell better not be the guy running out the exit. 
Okay? If I can walk back in, I'm probably going to be more drawn to go back in, try to find my wife and deal with it. Whether that's the best tactical decision or not, psychologically, those are the things that are probably going to dictate my plan. Does that make sense? So there's never a foolproof plan. 